Heavenly Father, I come before your holy throne in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Guide me as I listen to 135 in Psalms through the Holy Spirit. Thank you. In Christ Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, O servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing to his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel as his own position. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our God, our Lord, is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. He it is who makes the clouds rise at the end of the earth, who makes lightnings for the rain and brings forth the wind from his storehouses. He it was who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and of beast, who in your midst, O Egypt, sent signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants, who struck down many nations and killed mighty kings, Shihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to his people, Israel. Your name, O Lord, endures forever, your renown, O Lord, throughout all ages. For the Lord will vindicate his people, and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but do not speak, they have eyes but do not see, they have ears but do not hear, nor is there any breath in their mouths. Those who make them become like them, so do all who trust in them. O house of Israel, bless the Lord. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. O house of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Father God, you deserve all our reverent fear and praise. O Lord, your love endures forever. As I was reading these Psalms, O Lord, my heart aches, my skin start bubbling over as I listen, Lord, and I had reverent fear. True fear, Lord God, of who you are, the loving and faithful God Almighty, yet the one who is righteous and, and good. Lord, you are the one who struck down all the firstborn of Egypt, Lord God. You sent signs and wonders, and you struck down and you killed many kings and people. We do not want to think that, and people here in this generation choose to ignore you. They say, we cannot believe in a God that will bring terror. We cannot believe in a God that will struck the innocent. We cannot believe the God who will take away the firstborn. Oh Lord, how we ask for your forgiveness, for we do not know what we speak. We do not understand, for you are Lord God Almighty. You are just and wise, and you are good and faithful God. Judgment comes to those who don't trust you. Judgment comes to all who don't fear you. Judgment comes, Lord, for all of us. Oh Lord, we pray that you help us to understand. And regardless, Lord, even though we do not understand, we praise you because you are the Lord God Almighty. And Lord, as I read from verse 15 and 16, 17, it hurts and pains my heart, Lord God, that rather than honoring and praising and worshiping the Lord God Almighty who created the heavens and the earth, we fashion ourselves with our own idols created by our own hands, little objects of things created, Lord that we serve and bow down in temples that they don't even speak, Lord God. And they make them, Lord. They're everywhere. And whether they be the celebrities and the idols that we create in our hearts, how we worship them over anything else, or how we worship money or our careers or the family relationship that is above you, anything that is above you, Lord, is like an idol. Oh, Father, forgive us. Forgive us, Lord God, and come have be mercy and sweep the entire nation of the world at this time, Lord, that we may see your truth, that you are a God Almighty deserving our reverent full fear, Lord, that we do not fear man, that what they would do to our soul and our body that will die anyways, but we should fear the one who is the keeper of our soul for eternity. 
O Lord, I pray, have mercy upon all of us. Help us, Lord, to pray for others and continue to praise you, our blessed Redeemer. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen.